Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Nature Nugget. So glad you're here. Come up, sit down. Come on, Mark and Tiffany. Come on, there's a place for you right up front. Great, good. So everybody's good today? Well, we have a special little creature today that we're gonna study that God made. And it is an adorable creature. I'm gonna give you some clues. It has a long, fluffy tail, and it scampers everywhere, and it's so comical and cute. It weighs about a half pound to five pounds. I did hear somebody say, squirrel. That's right, you got it. So good. Great. So squirrels are, they are about five inches to 36 inches long, and they're omnivorous which means they eat just about anything. They have a large family of squirrels, that are very large, 200 species. And um, they, their front teeth never quit growing. I brought a um, picture today for your coloring slides. Um, it says, God made the squirrels. And it shows this darling little squirrel. He's so cute. And he's holding a little tiny acorn. You see that in his paws? And he has this big fluffy tail. So very, very cute. So that'll be up for you to color. See? So squirrels have about two to eight offspring and they have several litters in a year. And Squirrels are divided into, they have this large species of like 200. And so they're divided into three categories. There's the ground squirrel, there's the tree squirrel, and there's the flying squirrels. And in the flying squirrels, it includes chipmunks and groundhogs and um, prairie dogs even. So they have a lifespan of six to eight years. It's pretty long and they have a diet that they like hickory nuts and walnuts and different kinds of seeds. They are the most active little animal. They're mostly active in the daytime and they are so busy. They're busy developing new places to put their food. They're extremely vocal. They bark and they chatter and um, even scream, <laughs> and they sometimes even purr. Um, they have body, their body language also communicates to other uh, squirrels. They flick their tail, and um, that is sometimes a sign of irritation, and they'll stomp their feet. Um, squirrels save nuts, and they pretend that um, they'll sometimes bury, look like they're burying stuff when they're not. They're just trying to fool other animals that might be watching them. They're very acrobatic animal. They can fall from over a hundred feet and without even being injured. They, they, when they bury their food, the reason they find it again is not only their memory, but also the smell. They have very good sense of smell. They're so agile. They're acrobatic, actually. They can jump from one tree to another. The largest squirrel is called the Indian Giant, and he is up to 36 inches long. That's a long, long squirrel. And the smallest one is called the African Pygmy. They, they can run very fast. They can run up to 20 miles an hour and jump up to 20 feet. Whoa, they have that fluffy tail acts like a parachute sometimes. And it, it, it sort of has a balancer. Squirrels um, uh, help with tree growth. They, the, about 70% of all the acorns that they bury are ones that they recover, but 30% of them 
that are either forgotten or something that they just don't need them that winter are left in the ground and they um they turn sometimes into trees so they are actually little planters of trees and these grow into healthy big trees they're very intelligent squirrels are extremely intelligent they sort their food and even their nuts they sort by walnuts by acorns by pecans by almonds by hazelnuts it's amazing how they do that um they can go down trees head first and that is something that they are able to do because they can rotate their back foot 180 degrees which helps them grip when they're running down um, a tree. Warren G. Harding was a president back in 1921 to 1923 and he when he was president he actually made famous a very darling squirrel and his name was um, Pete and Pete was actually seen in the White House at times and he was quite a he was a very big novelty in fact um, some of the members of the cabinet would bring nets just for Pete and I think there's a picture up right now of him so um, back to the mid 1850s to 19 early 1900s Squirrels were kind of a novelty, but since then they have been actively involved in all the parks and they're everywhere. Squirrels are so active and, you know, in Proverbs 10.4, it says that we should have hands that are busy hands, basically. And squirrels certainly fall into that category. They're so busy. So... Um, they're very diligent little animals, and they're always prepared for winter with lots of food stored away. But God made the squirrels, and he made them so amazing. And I just want to thank God today for the squirrels. Let's bow our heads. Father in heaven, I just want to thank you for the squirrels, and I pray, God, that you would just bless each child as they learn of your animal kingdom and how beautiful you've made each one of these creatures. I just pray that you will watch over the children, Lord. And I pray that in Jesus' name. Thanks so much for being here today. Bye. See you next week.